A jetty jump is a activity where you walk on a plank and then you have to jump into the sea. It is difficult for me because I'm a non-swimmer. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> yeah, just try new experiences. Hey guys, I'm Kevin and welcome back to another episode of Lit and Loaded. Today's episode, we're gonna hit a little different, switch things up a little bit. We're gonna get a little vulnerable. A little zeep zeep, you know? So I'm gonna do this with a total stranger, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. Her name is Mrs. Singh, age 81 years old. Wow, what a long life, wonderful. Personality traits, quiet, open-minded, and open to new experiences. I love the open-mindedness and open to new experiences. She's here for a reason, you know? Wildest thing she has ever done, went jetty jumping. What is jetty jumping? actually toppled a sampan when she cannot swim. What is a sampan? Sorry, Gen Z. An inspirational quote. Nothing is impossible, even for seniors if you take it a step at a time. You can run marathons or even climb mountains like Mrs. Singh. Hello! Hi! Hi! Hi. Nice okay. to meet you, Mrs. Singh. Thank you. I love you. this orange, by the way. And I like your green hair. It's is that actually, turquoise? I think not yeah, green. Yeah, no, it was blue and it faded into turquoise. Yeah, okay. So I saw your profile just now. I'm really intrigued about what jetty jumping is. A jetty jump is a activity where you walk on a plank. Like a pirate. Yes, like a pirate. <laughs> okay. And then you have to jump into the sea. It is difficult for me because I'm a non-swimmer. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> yeah, just try new experiences. She seemed very sweet, very lively. She loved to talk. And I, I love that, you know? You know when you guys, I'm not sure if you do it nowadays, but like us youngsters nowadays love to have these things where we hang out together and we yeah. don't have anything planned really, but just to sit down and talk to each other. Yeah. We call it um, H2H. Do you know what H2H is? H2H? H2H? Hate to hate? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually heart to heart. Oh, that's a yeah. lovely expression. Yes. Describe the happiest moment in your life. When I got married and had my freedom. Oh, what do you, what do you mean by freedom? I come from a very old-fashioned family. Mm -hmm. So I was not, as a girl, I was not allowed to do whatever I want to do, right. unlike the boys. So when I got married, my husband is very open-minded. So I always tell people that's the happiest day of my life, the day I got married and I got my freedom. Um, I think the thing that hit me the most was when she said that marriage made her feel free, which is something I think not a lot of people feel nowadays. And I think that's one of the first things she said, honestly, and it kept me hooked onto her and her story from then on. What personal trait do you like or dislike most about yourself? I'm gonna say like, one thing for both because I think it's a double-edged sword for my case okay. is that I'm a perfectionist um, and I love that about myself because the things that I put out yeah. I'm very proud of but it's a double-edged sword in a way that like I am my biggest critic and I really beat myself up a lot um, <laughs> it's quite bad it can get very bad yes. <laughs> um, I think so. so too when did you last cry I think when my sister-in-law passed away. I loved her a lot mm -hmm. and she, I consider her like mother, grandmother, an older person, you see. And she was the one who brought up my children more mm -hmm. than I did. Mm -hmm. My children call her mother mm -hmm. and they call me mommy. That's the only time I cried a bit more than when my husband passed away. If you only had one more year to live, what would you change about your life now? Oh my, uh... Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> That's a good one. I guess spend time doing what I want to do. That's I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of things for others. Um, and it's not in a way that it's bad. I'm not saying like I hate doing things for others, but I realize I have a lot less time for myself to really nurture what I want to grow in and everything and I feel like I, if I only had one more year to live I'd want to focus on on what I want to do less alcohol because <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah because I've been a bit too much lately 
Oh my god. <laughs> um, who or what irritates you? <laughs> Seeing people grumble about things. I get very irritated because I feel that you are just making yourself more miserable by grumbling. Love, yes. Okay, why you grumble? Unless you can do something about it. Yes. If you could turn back time, what's one thing you would have done differently? I would have been more kind to my father. Because as I told you, uh, I come from a very old-fashioned uh, family. Mm. So, always, I always get very irritated with my father mm. because he controls me yes. too much. Yes. Okay, uh, when I'm playing, he says, come back, <laughs> go and cook the rice. Come back, do this, do that. And one day I went out without his permission. When I got back, I got a nice smack. Oh my. <laughs> now, as I look back, what he was trying to do was trying to protect me. Yes. And I should have been kinder to him. For your last meal, what would you eat? And who would you eat with? Okay. Probably like Mexican food. I need me some Mexican food. Fatty bowl and frozen yogurt. Need some dumplings. Some chocolate. Pistachio ice cream. I don't know why. I literally like puffer fish. Is that weird? I tried it the other day and it was wonderful. Unagi as well, please. Thank you. I'm going to keep it simple. Just make me one of everything. How about having the last supper with me? I'm sorry, <laughs> Mrs. Singh, but I'm going to have to deny that invitation. <laughs> I should be having the last supper, not you. Oh my god, please don't say that! <laughs> It'd be probably my sister because she's the closest thing to me right now as a family member. Even though she's so far away, I still and we haven't talked in a long while. Like, you know, that's still someone special to me. What do you enjoy eating the most in the world? Oh I got too many things. Popia? Popia? I love popia. It's so good. <laughs> chili or no chili? With chili. Of course with, with, with chili. chili. Fight Gives it a good kick. Yeah, like it. <laughs> when did you last experience loneliness? What made you feel this way? When my husband died. In the beginning, I didn't feel it that much. But uh, later, because he used to take care of a lot of uh, like financial things. And that's the time I feel like, oh, I wish he was here. I, I have been single for the past like two years. I do feel sometimes like, am I not enough? Like, like people don't like me. And yeah, it's, it's been a very lonely period of time lately. I don't know why it suddenly hit me, especially during Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, all of these like holidays where it's meant to be spent with people you love. Yeah, it's, it's not something I like to admit. Um, but I, I, because I come off as this, this person who is independent and doesn't need like anyone else. And it's true, I, I don't need anyone, but the want is there and, and um, yeah, oh my gosh, just stop it! <laughs> stop rolling! The only advice I can give is you step back from all your activities or whatever you are doing for your friends and all that, and then reflect back. That helps you to reorient your thinking and of course seeing things differently. How do you truly know that you love your partner? Oh! I don't know, little, little, just little, little things. Okay, for example, he loves vegetarian food. And me and my children are meat eaters. Then try to cook for him and all that. So that's everyday cooking. That's how I know that I really care for him now. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a very active senior lady, <laughs> alright? And I want to set, uh, uh, who has set a good example to other seniors so that they too can live the kind of life I have lived, mm. an enjoyable one. So our, us seniors should not, should not discount youngsters. You have to sort of tell them about your worst experiences in life, I show them what kind of experiences you had so that also will help them to see seniors in a more maybe different way. Also see us seniors as not somebody who are incapable of doing things, wheelchair bound and so on, but someone who can be very active too. As much as I don't agree with, with the saying that um, wisdom and and um, maturity comes with age. I do think that in this case, it, it applies. Um, you can tell that she's lived a wonderful life and, 
and she's not bitter at all and I think that's one of the reasons why I um, take advice from her is because you can tell that she's lived a wonderful life. Thank you all for watching this episode. Just want to thank Cozy Up With Craft for letting us use this space for filming. For more information, check the description box below. If you enjoyed this episode, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye! <laughs>